Welcome back to West Texas View. All right, we're continuing our little conversation as a prospective student to Dr. Jackson. And my next question, Dr. Jackson, would be, explain to me exactly what is the difference between an LVN, an RN, a BSN, uh, a graduate nurse? Yes, nursing has a variety of titles and a variety of educational levels. And levels of duty. Yes, and levels of duties that go, that corresponds with those, those titles. Uh, an LVN is a licensed vocational nurse. That is a nurse who has gone to school for one year. Mm -hmm. And they uh, get uh, classroom experience and hospital experience. They take a state exam and they practice one year. The licensed vocational nurse works under the supervision of a registered nurse. Mm -hmm. The registered nurse education, uh, there are three levels. Um, one is the um, uh, diploma level, and I think we have one school in Texas remaining that's a diploma school, and that is a three-year program. And, but you take your exam to be a registered nurse at the end of three years. You don't get a college degree, you get a diploma. Uh -huh. That's why they call it a diploma school. Uh -huh. And then there is the associate degree uh -huh. level where you go to a community college and you get a two-year degree and you get an associate a degree and you take the exam to be a registered nurse. And then there is the BSN, that's a bachelor's degree, that is a four-year degree that you get uh, uh, to be a registered nurse. Uh -huh. Then there is the master's degree uh, that is a, a graduate degree uh, for nursing. And then there is um, the PhD or the doctorate of nursing practice. The doctorate of nursing practice uh, is somewhat new um, compared to the PhD. The doctorate of nursing practice is a degree that is two years post master's. Uh -huh. And it specializes in practice. So people who want to be nurse practitioners, people who want to continue working in the hospital, to be hosp who are hospital administrators, or people who are looking at practice issues, you know, how to do a better job in mm -hmm. taking care of patients. Those are, are the doctors of nursing practice that we've added, and that's a wonderful degree. And then we have the PhD, which is a degree that focuses on nursing science, uh -huh. uh, what, what is the uh, evidence, what, what uh, is the research in a particular area, uh -huh. how do we know this works? Uh -huh. And so those are the research-based uh, nurses. Uh -huh. And so in order to teach, uh, you almost have to be a master's or PhD Yes, level. yes. You're required to have a master's degree before you can teach at a university. Mm -hmm. And so we're very fortunate that we have a very, very uh, talented uh, group of uh, faculty with master's degrees and PhDs. Uh -huh. and, uh, and your staff includes people who go to the hospitals to supervise yes. the student nurses, uh, and they also teach in the classroom. That is, that is correct. They teach in the classroom, and, and they also go to the hospitals to work with the students and the nurses in the hospital. Uh -huh. We do have hospital uh, nurses that are preceptors that take a, even a more uh, leadership role in working with the students. Uh -huh. And one of the things on your team, we're talking about your team of faculty members, but we're also talking about your team of hospitals, your network of other medical professionals that help your students or help you in various ways. Yes, and we're, we're so really fortunate. lucky to have we are so fortunate. such a great group in yeah, the we, Permian Basin. We are so fortunate to have um, the, the team that we have at Middle Memorial Medical Center, ORMC. Uh, we just are very, very fortunate. And then we have the clinics that the students go to. Uh -huh. uh, and so that, and some of the doctor's offices. And we go to the schools. Uh -huh. And uh, we, we also go to Big Spring, Big Spring State Hospital. So we have a variety of clinical experiences for the students uh -huh. right here in this area without going very, very far. Uh -huh. 
One of the things that I've always been amused about is the fact that so many of our smaller communities in the Permian Basin grow their own nurses because there's such a, a, a scarcity. And so they just get up scholarship programs and send some of their promising students to your program that is with, so the, uh, with the promise to come back and practice they do in, that. Uh, in yes. their community. Yes, the hospitals uh, have internship programs uh -huh. that they help the students uh, finance their education uh -huh. and then they go back to work uh -huh. in, in those hospitals. It's so similar to the old NDSL program where you got, your, uh, you got your education paid by the federal government to go into teaching math and science because we had such a, a low number of math and science teachers, but to, you either had to pay back that loan or you had to teach in math and science for five years before that loan was paid off. And so that, that re, that's what it reminds me of is yeah. what these uh, communities are doing. But, you know, you can, a, a lot of communities don't have anything but a n nurse practitioner in their communities. That Some is Some of so these true. very small ones. Yes. And so it's, it's very critical that we are turning out people to fill these, these needs. Yes, now that we are accredited, our students can pursue graduate education at other universities. Uh -huh. and, you know, probably later we will look into having graduate education uh -huh. in nursing uh, at UT Permian Basin, but right now we don't. And, but our students are eligible since we are accredited. Well, one of the, one of the things that I, I've wondered about is, is the classroom and the clinicals about half and half? Or do you have more clinical time than classroom time we have in more, a regular well, program? We have uh, more uh, clinical than we do uh, classroom time. But um, it's probably, uh, the clinical time is probably double the classroom time for the nursing major portion. Uh-huh. Well, th that's, uh, and that's, the, as I said, what most of the kids tell us is the fun part, is actually being in a hospital. I was uh, visiting a friend of mine who was in a heart unit, and uh, uh, he said that one of the things he was so delighted about was watching the student nurses come in and how serious they were about learning and watching and asking questions, and he said that made me feel really, really good. Well, we're so, proud, proud of that. We teach the students that the most uh, important information that they need to know comes from the patient. That's right. We're going to take another break and, and then come back and finish this conversation. Welcome back to West Texas View.